Good day, sir. I'm Maya Anbi Rita of Block 3B, and this is my thick talk. The case assigned to me was with General Register Number 111416 and was promulgated on September 26, 1994. The parties in this case are first the petitioner in the person of Felicidad Uy, while the public respondents is first Honorable Maximus E. Contreras, the presiding judge for Metropolitan Trial Court, Branch 61 of Makati, Metro Manila, and Honorable Mauro M. Castro, the provincial prosecutor of Pasig, Metro Manila, while the private respondents are Susana Apaite and Winnie Javier. What this case wanted to emphasize is the vital role which the revised Katanungan Pambarangay Law plays in the delivery of justice at the barangay level in promoting peace, stability, and progress at their aid, and in effectively preventing or reducing expensive and wearisome litigation. Now we go to the facts of this case. Felicitat Uy, the petitioner, subleased from respondent Susana Ataide the other half of the second floor of a building located at Makati City. She then operated a beauty parlor. The sublease contract expired on April 15, 1993. However, the, the petitioner was not able to remove all her movable properties. Two days after, an argument arose between the petitioner and Ataide and several of the latter's employees, which degenerated into a scuffle. The private respondents had themselves medically examined for the alleged injuries inflicted on them by the petitioner. On April 23, 1993, private respondents filed a complaint with the barangay captain of Palenzuela, Makati, which was docketed as barangay cases numbers 1023 and 1024. On the date of the confrontation of the parties, only the petitioner appeared. The barangay captain then reset the date of the confrontation. Then, the Office of the Provincial Prosecutor of Isaya filed two informations for slight physical injuries against the petitioner with the MTC of Makati and assigned it to Branch 61 thereof. Public Respondent Judge Maximo Contreras of Branch 61 ordered the petitioner to submit her counter affidavit. In response, petitioner alleged that the criminal cases were filed prematurely due to failure to undergo with the conciliation proceedings. She also attached a certification by the barangay captain of Valenzuela Makati, which stated that there was an ongoing conciliation between Ataide and the petitioner in barangay case number 1023. Petitioner then filed a motion to dismiss criminal cases numbers 145233 and 145234 for non-compliance with the requirement of PD number 1508 on prior referral to the Lupong Tagapamayapa and pursuant to Section 18 of the 1991 Revised Rule on Summary Procedure. Public responded that Judge Contreras handed down an order denying the motion to dismiss. A motion to reconsider the said order was also denied. And now, the issue of this case is whether or not criminal cases numbers 145233 and 145234 should be dismissed for non compliance with the requirement of Presidential Decree Number 1508 on prior referral to the Lupong Tagapamayapa. And the ruling of the court is yes. Presidential Decree Number 1508 was the original law governing the rules as to Katarugang Pambarangay. Upon enactment of the Local Government Code of 1991, revisions as to Katarugang Pambarangay were included. And among the significant features were, first, 
broadening of the jurisdiction of the Lupon. Second, broadening the authority of the Lupon concerning civil and criminal cases arising from incidents in workplaces or institutions of learning to be brought in the barangay to which a said workplace or institution is located. And lastly, maximizing the effectiveness of the mediation, conciliation, or arbitration process and by discouraging any intentional delay of the referral to a closed date to the expiration of the prescriptive period and then invoking the proximity of such expiration as the reason for immediate recourse to the courts. Despite the repeal on Presidential Decree No. 1508 by the Local Government Code of 1991, the jurisprudence as to prior referral to the Lupon as a precondition to the filing of action in court prevails. In the case at bar, the court held that private respondents prematurely filed criminal cases with the MTC of Makati, since the prescriptive period was automatically suspended when they filed their complaints with the Lupon of Venezuela Makati. Thus, the private respondents are stopped from this avowing the authority of the Lupon of Barangay Valenzuela Makati, which they themselves had sought. The court further stated that the private respondents' act of drifting with the authority of the Lupon cannot be countenanced, for to do so would wreak havoc on the Barangay conciliation system. The court emphasized the fighter role which the revised Katarungang Pambarangay law plays in the delivery of justice at the barangay level and in effectively preventing or reducing expensive and wearisome litigation. Lastly, the court reminded that parties to disputes cognizable by the Lupon should, with sincerity, exhaust the remedies provided by that law. Government prosecutors should exercise due diligence in ascertaining compliance with it, and trial courts should not hesitate to impose the appropriate sanctions for non-compliance thereof.